Right, we're going to be looking at the Turbo Smart um, dual port blow off valve, the compact version. And um, I've got this fitted to my Honda S2000. Uh, the main reason being is that my HKS supercharger kit doesn't really allow um, anywhere to inject water in. So I had to uh, re plumb it all using silicon hoses. And because of that, the uh, standard uh, HKS bypass valve. Uh, wouldn't fit so um, it meant that I had to come up with another solution so yeah basically you've got the uh, the blow off valve just there um, it's very well made um, it's got a nice uh, large uh, vacuum uh, boost reference uh, line so you get, you get a good decent piece of silicon pipe and um, the valve will operate as it should do uh, it comes apart very easily and if I show you this, the the hose can be moved to whatever angle you want. And to change the spring, you literally uh, disconnect the hose, unscrew this off, and your spring will come out, and your piston will be left inside. And you just uh, you just choose whatever spring you want. So for me, I've got a very soft spring because I want a supercharger operation. So basically, at low throttle body. Um, movements the uh, vacuum from the engine will pull the, the valve this way which will allow the uh, air to bypass through here and back to the uh, uncompressed side of the supercharger uh, issues I've had with it is cheap vacuum lines if you use cheap vacuum lines they deform very easily let me just give you an example of that this is the line I was using before against the new one. If you look, squeeze that very easily, close it fully. This one here, it's a lot more rigid, a lot harder to squeeze down, still stays there. So hopefully that will fix my um, issues that I've been getting with poor vacuum lines. And as you can see, I've replaced pretty much all of the lines um, using this. And the uh, vacuum line, reference line, it's from that manifold at the back there with the uh, blue pipes so it's getting um, a good reference value a good strong vacuum which should cause the valve to operate properly this is the uh, 34 millimeter version I think uh, which I think I bought for 160 pound as I said it's dual port now the idea of the dual port is that you have your um, secondary direct to atmosphere a uh, silencer it's not really a silencer vent on this side now the problem with for me is that uh, it's so noisy if you're using this like that then uh, the supercharger is always bypassing it's always dumping air out of here and it's just a loud whistling noise um, it's not a good noise it, it suggests that you've got a boost hose that's blown off so I decided to block that up uh, that came with the kit, so it's just a 10mm Allen key. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, just to screw that plug in, block it up. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It goes from being very noisy to very quiet. So every time I have a high throttle position, like so making a lot of boost, say 8,000 RPM, it'll be about 10 PSI. As soon as I shut the throttle, that air will all rush back here through this valve and then dumped back on this side which will stop the uh, supercharger from being uh, strained because basically you, you could get the point where you shut the throttle and that the uh, supercharger has got nowhere to release any boost and obviously because the boost is related to the supercharger's speed which is based on engine speed then you're making boost all the time and it's got nowhere to go so the only thing it can do is try and pull the belt off of the supercharger or it can basically break your throttle plate, just uh, snap it straight off or damage the spring on the throttle plate. So it's, it's you definitely got to have a good bypass valve and this uh, supercharger produces a lot of boost, um, even at idle. So yeah, it needs to be quite a big size. But I'd, I'd definitely recommend this, uh, this bypass valve. Um, like I said, 160 pounds. Yeah, I had to order the softer springs separately, which was a bit of a pain, but you know, these things happen. 
and uh, yeah, it's good. It sounds nice and quiet. You wouldn't even know it's there apart from when you uh, when you're really pushing onwards. But as the other issue that I pointed out is, please buy decent vacuum lines. I got these from uh, a company called Viper Performance, and to be honest, the price was pretty reasonable, and the uh, the, the lines do not deform like the cheaper stuff. Like I'll show you another example. This is the Viper for Performance line, and this is another company's brand. I won't mention just a cheap eBay one. So look at that. That's easy to squeeze. Not putting much force on that. This one, that's very difficult. That's about as far as I can get it with thumb pressure. So yeah, we imagine when you're driving, you're getting a vacuum on that. That's just getting sucked inwards like that, and then you probably get to the point where you're not getting the full vacuum because the bore of the pipe is being pulled like pulled smaller. So yeah, definitely spend the money on some good vacuum hoses. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe to my videos and uh, hopefully I'll post some more about my Honda S2000 soon. Thanks.